is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show, and we're here at the 11th annual Newport Beach Film Festival for the premiere of We Were Feared, a documentary on the legendary punk rock venue, The Cuckoo's Nest. Punk rock has come to Fashion Island, one of the most conservative malls probably in the universe. No, of course, of course. I mean, that's really like, you know, what I've been telling everyone, I think that, um, you know, the fact that these kids did what they did back in like the early, like the early 80s, like late 70s was open so many doors for everybody. I mean, you'd never have a movie screening like this at Fashion Island, you know, everyone having tattoos down their arms, you know, crazy hair, if it wasn't for what these guys did. And I think that's what's so spectacular about this story and really is what makes it, you know, such a good film. How inspiring was it? Because this, this is a story people have wanted to hear for a long time, and you're bringing it to the screen. It's just like hugely inspiring for me because this is a subject matter that's really close to me. Even though I was a little younger and I was only like maybe four when this took place, it was something that inspired me my whole life. You know, I've been into punk rock music and skateboarding and snowboarding my whole life. So for me, it was like hugely inspiring. And to meet these guys that are like legends to me and to see, you know, these guys just doing their thing and living their life was just so amazing for me. York, what are your hopes and dreams for this film, We Were Feared? I mean, ultimately, I want this film to just get out there and for people to become aware of the subject matter because our biggest goal is to eventually go on and do a scripted feature film, you know, with actors and do some with a studio. Because I think that there are so many people out there that are moved by this subject matter and inspired by it, that um, it, really, it really has a following and people need to see it. There's been a bunch of documentaries made, but there really wasn't anything specific to the Cuckoo's Nest yes. and this movement, which, you know, really spawned West Coast hardcore punk, exactly. you know, and slam dancing. And also Jerry Roach's story, because Jerry Roach has that great all-American rise and fall, you know, the fact of what he did and ultimately having the government and the city come after him and shut him down is one of those stories that they really needs to be told, you know, people need to see it. And York, what, were, what are some of your favorite bands from that period of the Cuckoo's Nest? I mean, definitely Circle Jerks, you know, TSOL, Adolescence, um, Vandals, um, you know, those are really some of my like most favorite bands of all time. I mean, I grew up listening to Circle Jerks like every day, just blasting in my old school like headset, you know what I mean? So definitely Circle Jerks and just seeing Casey Royer run around like being a crazy man, you know, just like just puts like a big smile on my face. Tell us, Francine, what drew you to the Cuckoo's Nest and tell me a couple great stories from that time. There was many things that drew me. One was that I was raised in Newport and my mother was very low income and by the time I reached high school, um, I wasn't accepted, I didn't fit in and then the punk rock scene hit Orange County. And it was an easy draw where it's like, this, this fits, this works. So um, the whole punk scene hit Newport. Um, the police hated us. The police, I got arrested just for the way I looked. Wow. Would walk up to the Cuckoo's Nest to see shows. It was two miles away from the peninsula. Hang out with all my girlfriends, get drunk, get high. Don't remember a lot of stuff. Had relationships that started in the par parking lot and ended in the parking lot. My first show that I saw there was um, the Adolescents. They know me as Scooter here. They know me as Jaime. Okay, now you guys, what are some of your greatest memories from the Cuckoo's Nest? Stage diving. Casey, just hanging with, hanging with the boys, you know? This guy jumped off stage, did a triple flip, and landed with his boots on my head. <laughs> knocked me out, right? It knocked me out. I was out for like 30 seconds. They were trying to find me, right? He did a double flip where the boots come down, you know, flipping. Thanks, dude. Surfing. Were you know, those Doc Martens that were tomorrow? Way to go. No, those were Marine Corps issue steel toes. There bro. you go. From the thrift store. Hey, did you guys ever brawl with any of the Zubies? Yeah, yeah. Oh, remember, God. Remember the Tell me a story. Okay, why yeah. did they put that next door? All right. <laughs> okay, one time. Remember that the time we beat the the one guy with the, uh, the uh, kind of like uh, a big old sombrero kind of cowboy like, hat. We beat the guy up with the cowboy hat because he's saying punks are fags. We're all like, we're not fags. We're just like tough and in charge of our like direction. You know, the cowboys were kind of like, uh, they're kind of drunk. Right, and we're like intelligent punks, right? We were just an, an army, is we what were, it was, yeah. dude. We were, we were our we're, own we're little regiment, bro. You f***ed with one, you f*** with 300. We had the crew. Good old days. We're good old days. Yeah. Scooter. <laughs> yes. Now, now, what is one of your fond memories from your time at the Cuckoo's? Well, one of my fond memories was always remembering to not hit that one post to the right of the stage, because when you hit that thing in the slam pit, it Hurt. Blaring out with Eric Blair show and we're here at the premiere for We Were Feared at the 11th annual Newport Beach Film Festival and we're here with Dwayne Peters good, from Dwayne Peters Gunfight. Yeah. Right. Amongst other good great on wash too. Me and Dwayne. And Dwayne, Dwayne I'm Greg Keane. Really I did the music tonight. for the movie. What is important about the movie We Were Feared? Uh, 
These were the years of go to the door and go to war for all of us. These are the survivors of punk rock Vietnam right here. Hell yeah. Dwayne, Hell what, yeah. what are some memories that stand out to you about the, your time at the Cuckoo's Nest? Many, because I lived right around the corner from it, so I was there every day, and we had to get beat up by the cops guy and the other fat guy with the afro yeah, yeah, yeah. every there, day, yeah. and then uh, and then you eventually, they get tired of beating you down, so you start pointing out other guys to get beat down, but the Ramones, many times, and you had to dance the Ramones every time. If you didn't dance while the Ramones were playing, you, you got beat. You got the beat. It, you got yeah, that's the rule. Oh, hell yeah. We, uh, hell magazine, yeah. really great band. The best bands, anybody that was anybody. The Fingerprints, Adol all the best local bands, TSOL, Vandals. Adolescents, Vandals. Most of us didn't go to high school, so that's why I, I, another reason why to come here was like, this is how we see who's living still, because we lose, we lost a lot of people on the way, and hell then. Yeah over the last few years and back. So it's like, who's still around? Who's still surviving? And then like, I guess what the, the people that go to school would do is when they see each other at a reunion, hey, you know, it's been what, 30 some years? 35 years, yeah. Dwayne. You so know what? We're still alive, my we're brother. We're still doing we're it. Still doing we're still doing our not deal. that smart. We got very Hell small yeah. brains, but we're, we get, must have something that keeps us alive the ones that are here, right? Why do you feel that punk rock has endured the test of time? Because it's got style and it's got raw emotion and, it, and it, it's uh, a lot of, it, it su supported the loonies and the, the people that were outsiders. The, the, the gay people were the first ones that took us in when we were younger. So, we, you know, they love whatever. They, it was like the freedom of expression and all the weird quirkinesses of like a loony band and stuff like that. So just a lot of freedom, freedom of individuality. And, and back then, if you just had food coloring in your hair, it was before Manic Panic and all that shit. You went out the door and the cowboys, the bikers, the every sector the, the of society, zubier, every, cow, everybody wanted to beat you up. And that's really weird. That It says something about people policing each other and that's, kind of like still that way, but it's just a little more extreme. What do you think the legacy is of the Cuckoo's Nest for you, Dwayne Peters? It's a, a, a huge part of all our lives. For anybody who is at the Cuckoo's Nest, this is guaranteed, and they're alive and breathing, a huge part of their life. There's Absolutely. no way it couldn't be. Yeah, it was our CBGBs compared to New York. Long this live is... Jerry Roach. Long live Jerry Roach, you guys. And Jerry still looks good. Weirdly, looks great. Long right? live Jerry Roach, He guys. looks younger than all of us now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is the Blaring Out with Eric Blair show, and today we were here at the 11th Annual Newport Beach Film Festival to celebrate the premiere of We Were Feared, a movie about the life of Jerry Roach and the legendary punk rock venue, The Cuckoo's Nest. Hope you guys enjoyed yourself. Peace out. The Blaring Out show.